I'm here because a large amount of money that I had been saving for the last past two years came up missing. It was like about 50000 They came up missing out of my bedroom, me being so trustworthy to show someone my savings and then to just have them slickly rip it right from underneath you. I met Shonda through Desiree. I felt sorry for her because I knew her situation. She, her situation is really bad, like nowhere to live. She was living with Desiree. So just to kind of like help her out with some extra money. I pay for my girl's hair to get braided all the time. So I said, I'll let her make the money this time. So I trusted her to come over to my place to braid their hair. She asked me to do the kids' hair and I end up next day doing the kids' hair. After finishing the kids' hair, I end up going back to the house, was locked out. Mysteriously, Desiree has changed her ring code, has deactivated the code that Shonda previously know was the code to open the door. She was like, uh, the, the code is not working, I can't get in. So I ended up going to Diamond's house and hanging out in her garage. Ended up, you know, going to sleep. She ended up coming back outside to come and get me in order for me to get some rest in her bed. I sleep until it's time for me to go pick my kids up from school, which is around like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. I literally took her body and rocked her like three or four times to the point I was under the impression she was dead or something. She then told me that she went to go get her kids from school and when she came back, my body was in a different position than what it was from before when she left. I believe that Shonda pretended to be asleep, to stay behind so that she could get an opportunity to get to my savings. After that, um, I was pretty much accused of being accused of stealing her money only because I was there, and the only person there, according to her, that could have stole the money. I have no idea what happened to the money. I was asleep, like I said before. I'm not here to accuse nobody of taking no money. I don't know what happened to it, I can't tell you. I think that Desiree had some type of involvement in it because she had tried previous pranks to get money up out of me, like saying she had been kidnapped and what have you. So I feel like she played a part in it. I feel like Shonda played, pretended to be sleep to get next to my savings. Desiree tried to tell Diamond that my spending was a little bit suspicious when it came to me. Tipping, when it comes to me, just like spending money, going out, like doing different things that I was already doing before. I know Shonda took it. There's no doubt in my mind that she did. She's the only one had access to my bedroom. She's the only one that I left behind there when I went to pick my children up from school. She was the only one there. And no one else inside of the home knew that the savings were there. I had just showed it to her the day before. I want Diamond to know that, I, you know, I've been nothing but a friend of her, and I'm not a thief, and I will never steal from her. My thing is, like, I take, when it comes to friendship, I'm very loyal and I would never like do anything to deceive or hurt her pockets and because I know she got a family to feed. And I just want to get back on one accord and get our friendship back to like where it used to be. Desiree just going and running her mouth telling lies after lies and just saying that everything that I've been doing has been suspicious. It's been like a bad factor when it comes to me and Diamond's relationship because she's been looking at me as a thief ever since then when it comes to Desiree. I have nothing to say to Desiree, nothing at all. You can continue to be messy, have fun with it, but you can count me out. I'm thinking they're both for in on it, and I'm here to get the truth. You out here trying to play this role like you innocent when you changed the lock on your door that night that Sunday, you knew she was at my house braiding my kids' hair. Why did you change the lock on you, though? 
I changed the lock because I wanted to. How you going to see... You know, you said you changed the lock because of reason. no progress. Yeah. How you going to see progress within 24 her, hours? But why would how I going to see her progress her personal within 24 on hours? TV? It ain't how you gonna see? 24 hours. Yeah. She been how you gonna see with progress me? within she 24 been hours? With me. How you gonna see progress? And then okay. you talking about this made up? Oh, I, I don't have money? I never said you didn't have money. I don't oh, think okay. that but came it's made happen. up. Okay. We'll see. And then I changed your words? You did? You wanted to play a part in this. Okay, no, I tried to You wanted to be involved. No, you didn't. You called me from what's your conclusion? What's your conclusion? Why you worried? Did you take it? We gonna see. Or did you have something to do with it? We gonna see. Did you have $50,000 in the house? I house? had more than that. More than 50. How much did you have? Like anywhere between 50 to 80. 50 what? To 80,000. Oh, 50 to 80,000. I showed Shonda four different bags and it wasn't just me showing it off to her. In the midst of her braiding my kids hair, my husband came in and he got mad because she had like some hot irons, flat irons and other stuff on his pool table. So oh, he yeah, said something to her that, about you it. You can't do that. Right. I told her, don't say nothing to my husband. Wait till I get there. I'm on my way back. I'm going to deal with him. Yeah. So me and him kind of like exchanged words in front of Shonda. I felt ashamed. Like, you don't talk to me like this in front of my friends. So he was saying stuff like he'll leave or what have you. So I was like, girl, I don't care. I've been saving. I'm OK. If he leave, I'm cool with that. Me and my kids gonna be good. Yeah. Sean, did, yeah. did okay. you take her money? No, I ain't take her money. Did and that's she, and that's big facts. I ain't take her did money. Did she show you the money? Yeah, she showed me her money on video chat. And when you saw that money, what'd you think? I I mean, I was like, okay, you know. I mean at that <laughs> time, like, you know, she was trying to like explain something to me as far as her man, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, yeah. We asked Diamond. Did you really have $50,000 in your closet the day in question? She answered yes. Did money really go missing the day in question from a purse inside your closet? You answered yes. Are you fabricating any part of the story that you had money stolen from you? You answered no. The results came back all the same and it came back that Diamond told the truth. Okay, Desiree, you came here, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, do you have personal knowledge of what happened to the $50,000 stolen from Diamond that you do not want anyone to ever find out? You answered no. Do you know for sure if Shonda took the money belonging to Diamond? You answered no. Did you at any time receive any share of the stolen money? You answered no. Did you at any time participate in any way by receiving and spending the stolen money belonging to Diamond? You answered no. Were you the one who gave Diamond the idea that Shonda was responsible for the theft of $50,000? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Desiree told the truth. Shonda came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you at any time enter the bedroom and go into the closet of Diamond and steal $50,000? You answered no. Did you steal any money belonging to Diamond from inside her closet on the day in question? You answered no. Do you know for sure who stole the missing money? You answered no. Did you at any time participate in any way by taking, stealing, and helping someone steal money from the bedroom of Diamond? You answered no. The results to those four questions came back the same. And they came back that Shonda told the truth. And I, I hope you're coming on and you got answers. I hope it narrows it down to help you find out who took your money. I, I think we're on the same page as we know who took your money. You need to go home, find that out. But the rest of you, if you can't be friends and this has damaged the relationships, it's sad, but it happens. Good luck to everybody.
I was raped. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.